Well, look, we're just really humbled to get a win and um, probably put on a clinic of how to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. You know, I think there was, you know, as, even as, as, uh, as bad as the turnovers were in the first half and, um, you know, still thought we had a solid half, we're in control of the game, playing good on both sides of the ball and then uh, thought we were settling down and then, you know, start the second half, we get a stop, we get the explosive play and then credit them. Uh, we didn't score from the one yard line on four straight plays and uh, probably need better play calls if those aren't going to work. So that's not on the kids, that's on me. But we got to be able to get it in. I don't, I don't remember that happening to us ever in my time here. But credit them and that changed the game. Then, then they go all the way down um, and score. And then the, really the, the kicker was, and look, doesn't matter. They call a personal foul because all, all one of our players is doing is just pulling the guy off the pile. And when you do that, it's automatic. And so now they get the ball to 15, not the one foot line. And uh, they responded, but 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 then we got to stop. I think and scored again. Went up two scores, and still we're in, in a good position. And then they just they kept coming. And you know, I, I think I told the guys there was four or five times in the last probably ten minutes of that game that you know you could have just said it's not our night. You know, they should have. You know, they missed a field goal, uh, but our defense held them to a field goal after one of the turnovers. Then we turn it over again. We don't even let them get any yards, so they can't kick a field goal. They punt it. Then we turn it over again. And um, you know, and then credit you know Casey Horney, Kyle Cooper, and Scott Simons, and our special teams defensive staff for devising a, a must block situation. One of those things you don't really need it till you need it. And uh, had just been working it recently, and Jafar I and the guys were executing it, kept us in the game, and the defense stopping them again on a two point play. So um, credit Duke Manny. I have so much respect for him. Their guys deserve to win that game too. Uh, it's a shame that someone didn't, but we're we're very thankful to be seven and one and four and zero. Now that you got the win, is, is, was there any moment in the aftermath of it that you just kind of had to laugh? That, I've not that, laughed. You, you not laugh? No, 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 <laughs> not at all. I'm I mean, just smiling kind of, now. You know, but I, yeah. No, I just I got a little bit of emotional at first because you know this profession's weird and, and we're competitive and trust me, you want to beat your friends probably more than anybody because you know it's like if you had a brother or something, right? And so you go against them, but I, I have so much respect for Manny and the people on that sidelines that I just was like, as soon as the incompletion was, there was no flags or anything, and I knew we had won. You just kind of, man, you don't want to say like, you know, it, it's uh, it's gut wrenching for one and and relieving for the other. Uh, and then I got emotional because I was just thinking about our guys. Like, we should have lost that game five different times late. Like, we should have. And if we played it a hundred times, probably losing 99 out of the way the game unfolded. It just happened to be the one time. But it just is, a, and look, it doesn't mean you're going to win and pull it out, but our guys just kept playing. They kept fighting. Our defense kept getting stops. We kept rushing field goals. We found a way to block one. Offense scored. Defense stopped them on the two-point play. Like, just just a great lesson in resiliency and, and what it can do. You always say after games you got to win the battle of turnovers. Have you ever been a part of a game as a coach or a player where the turnover battle was what it was tonight and you figured out a way to win? No, and I would have told you it's like 1940 since I last had – someone told me 2011 was the last time a team lost by six turnovers and, and won. I've not had a six-turnover game in my career that I'm aware of as a coach, like that we turned it over six times. So um, you do. Now, we won the explosive plays and we won the run game. We won two of the three, and maybe that was the difference. But, you know, and, and – but, wow, I don't know what to say. You've mentioned the defense, and I mean they pulled off what could be looked at as kind of miracles tonight mm -hmm. in a couple yeah. situations. I mean it feels like week after week they're just coming up with the stops at the right time. Yeah. It wasn't the takeaways tonight, but like for you in the offense, how does it feel to know that you can be in those late game situations where they could kick a game winning field goal and they could still bail you out? Oh, it feels great. I mean that's what that's what team sports about. That's what winning's about, and and to continue to find ways to win, win when you're not at your best, or maybe win when. Another team may have outplayed you in some areas like the turnover situation. Um, it's important. Our guys lean on each other. They don't keep score of, hey, well, offense, you've turned it over six times tonight, so, you know, or vice versa. I mean, look, there were times that offense was playing really well tonight in the first half and, and even early in the third quarter. And if we hadn't been turning over, we might have had 35 points. And our defense allowed a 90 something yard drive and an 80 something yard drive, you know, and, and nobody, everybody just keeps playing. And um, so, yeah, I was just really proud of, of the way our guys stuck together in a tough situation.
You mentioned, you know, after each of Duke's turnovers, they didn't score points off of those. Yeah. What does that say about the response to your defense? That's arguably the most staggering stat of all. Not that it was 6-0, to zero, and really 7 if you count having the ball at the one-yard line and not scoring. That might as well be I mean, that's turnover on downs, right? So 6-0 or 7-0, and they had zero points in the game off turnovers. It's pretty remarkable. So... Yeah, that's why you keep playing every play. Play the next play. The, the injuries you guys also overcame. Yeah. You know, Jake Bailey, Justin Osborne, yeah. uh, uh, Brandon Maizano. Uh, I mean, any Kevin updates? Kevin a couple but, times. Yeah, Kevin Elijah obviously. Robinson, yeah. A couple times, yeah. Uh, any any updates on any of those guys? But also, just can you speak to again that resilience? Yeah, that's. I'm glad you asked that. Cause, so just so I'm, yes, uh, I don't have any any clarity on the on the severity of the injuries. I know. Brandon was in a sling, but it, at least at halftime I was told it's not as bad as it looks. So I don't know what that means for next week, but I don't know if it's – and then same thing with Jake. Um, hopeful that it's not as bad as we thought. He just didn't have any strength, so he couldn't go back in. Um, same thing with J.O. I think it was a stinger maybe, and, you know, Ben Sparks goes in there, and Logan Parr's playing beat up. Um, Elijah went down, came back. Kevin went down, got a scare. He was able to come back. So we'll see. I mean, we're beat up. We're going to have to find a way to, to grind out another game next week at home before we get an off week. But uh, the point I want to make is, so, so Roderick Daniels has not taken a snap at receiver in over a month. He has not played a snap at receiver in over a month. And as soon as um, Jay got hurt, he went back to receiver without taking a single snap. That's how smart he is. That's what a football player, that's what a team guy he is. And, and Carter Campbell was available to play as well. Those guys did a great job standing in, and all he does is have two massive explosive plays. He's just a winner, man. So, um, and that's kind of what he's been these last three years here for us. But running back, receiver, whatever you want him to be, and um, so really proud of him. And, and, and then Matthew Hibner tonight, I thought he stepped up big time with RJ being out. So, him there, Stone. There's a school of thought, or at least there used to be, that. Uh, in overtime, you go for one at home and go for two on the road. Yeah. Were you surprised that Duke went for two? Not at all. That's exactly what he should have done. And honestly, now, if the roles would have been reversed, that's what we would have done. Because you got to go for two the second overtime anyways. And then after the second overtime, that's all it is, is a two-point shootout. So you kind of know now, most of the time, coach is going to go. If you score second in that scenario, you're going you're gonna to go for two. Why wouldn't you? You at least now know you got to play. you got a chance to end the game on your terms. You're not guaranteed another opportunity in the next overtime. And if you both happen to score, you're going to have to do it then anyway. So let's just do it now. And, um, no, they made the right call and what they did. Um, I thought Scott did a good job of seeing the formation and adjusting our call after the timeout. And our guys made a play. For Kevin, is this a game where you just kind of want to burn the tapes, or is there something you hope he can take away from this? You want to burn him. We're not going to. We're going to watch him. We're going to get better. You know, um, he was really down, and but I think we picked him up. I hope. I mean, he's beat up, but he's down because you know he has high expectations of himself. But the number one job of a quarterback is to win, and we won. And his teammates picked him up tonight, and so he'll be fine. Like we all have nights when we're not at our best, and we found a way to win. Any. Any great season, any championship run, anything like that that a, school, a team's ever been on, you're going to look back and have one or two games that you're like, we probably shouldn't have won that one. But we found a way to do it. And so that's what tonight was for us.